Hey guys, welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. This is episode 6 of the Unrestricted File Upload and probably this is going to be our last episode in this series for now. Uh, probably in the future I'll come back and uh, like you know do some more file upload examples but uh, uh, this is I think this is uh, so far it has been uh, great because we have gone through pretty much uh, all the basic test cases that uh, which you should uh, already like you know be performing or maybe you should perform when you are testing the file upload functionality so just to remind like you know in the previous examples we look at how you can uh, copy a malware file or backdoor file and you could upload to the uh, you know in the in the malicious way and then we also seen how do we bypass the content type checks uh, then we saw like uh, how you can use the double extension to bypass certain checks and then uh, the get image size function it's also like you know uh, you can bypass using the uh, certain tools and putting your code into the comment of the image file and and today what we're gonna see is let's see if all of them fails so if uh, suppose the admin of the uh, web server has done a pretty secure job and they have disabled the uh, double extension so it doesn't allow double extension then how do we still upload our back door uh, so that's what we're gonna see uh, 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 the thing you would uh, just need to consider that we're gonna use the null byte into this one so a null byte is something uh, uh, let's let's see the demo first and when we get to the null byte I'll, I'll explain more how does it work and and why does it work so let's head on to our VM and see how it works all right so this is our uh, VM and first we want to make sure we have the secure configuration on so let's go here conf uh, go to this file and make sure in the files match you have the dollar sign on this means like you know the double extensions are not allowed and this is what you might find uh, like you know in most of the cases but sometimes there is also misconfiguration where you can take uh, make a use of the other examples that we have seen to upload the malicious file but for now let's assume uh, the double extension is not allowed and just to verify let's go back to our application so go here so this is the uh, uh, challenge of the file and here you would provide the file name and then upload the file and uh, try to access it back so first off let's create the <coughs> malicious file uh, First, we need to find out any GIF image, which uh, we did in the previous cases. So let's see, uh, lamp, now find name star.gif. And the in the last example, if you remember, we got something like, you know, copy.gif. So I just want to use the same thing again rather than uh, using a different name so i'll just copy this copy paste lip wait first off uh, we would have to go back to our downloads uh, root downloads okay then copy this one Oh, we have to do the forward slash here, I guess. Cannot state. Oh, I, I know why. Okay. Um, to go to the OPT. Lamp. And I guess, yep. All right. Okay, so now we have copy.gif. Now in the previous example, what we did was we uh, copied our simple backdoor file content into the comment section of the copy GIF and we did it using the GIFsicle tool. Uh, if you don't remember, please go back and, and see the uh, previous example, previous video, which would explain the entire process. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna truncate the simple backdoor.php file content and copy it to the copy let me rename this one just copy underscore two dot gif and to make sure we have the correct content 
okay so all the entire backdoor has been copied into copy to GIF now let's try to upload that using the same method so copy one dot GIF browse create the downloads copy to dot GIF upload of course it will go through because it's a GIF file but the previous example because double extensions were allowed we were able to uh, uh, like you know process a PHP file or oh, sorry the, yeah PHP file but in this case let's see it's still not showing up uh, and the reason is uh, because the double extension is not allowed and uh, and this PHP subsystem now only consider this as a GIF file rather than the PHP so what are we supposed to do now is let's go back go here and what we're gonna do is uh, we are actually going to upload the same file right and we this time we're gonna turn on the proxy mode so to uh, okay so the proxy is on and we'll make sure our uh, burp intercept is on okay now here uh, I'll just uh, give this name <coughs> so instead of doing this we would just do GIF right and hit the upload button go to our burp screen now here what are we gonna change is I'm gonna add the PHP in here and then character a forward this to the repeater so you can we can easily see yeah so when we go here and uh, all right we lost the file name again but I think it's somewhere in here yes okay right here now this one <laughs> so when you put the null byte in what's gonna happen is uh, once we upload this file and and like you know we give this file name uh, the PHP processor what they're gonna think is uh, it's gonna start reading from the left so it will read copy to dot and the PHP and when it encounters the null byte, it's gonna stop there instead of going further. So uh, this way we only have one extension, but then again, uh, like you know, it's not gonna process as a GIF. Now this is a different version of the burp, uh, just to kind of show you like, you know, how the null byte looks. Probably in that version, there was some issue where the null byte was not visible. So if you see here, this little tiny square box would come up and that denotes as a null byte where we enter like you know a zero zero instead of 41 so if we do the 41 it's gonna come back like as an a and if we do the zero zero which is now sometimes like you know there are a different ways you can also put the null byte so like you know forward slash zero zero this is also some way uh, you can also put the a null byte in Okay, so uh, once we put on the null byte, let's uh, stop our intercept and let the file go. And now hopefully uh, the file should be uploaded with just the PHP extension. Uh, so like, you know, that way we bypass the um, uh, application restriction where it only allows the GIF. But then now also when the PHP is gonna process or the Apache is gonna process the file, it's just gonna look at it as a PHP instead of the a GIF file because we have the null byte between the PHP and GIF and stop the execution right there. So uh, let's go to the uh, Firefox, go to the uploads file, and there you go. We can see the PHP, uh, our file was uploaded successfully. And if we click here, we can see our little backdoor in here and copy this one and execute. There you go. So uh, this is uh, one of the better method I guess in nowadays when we have like you know where we it's so difficult to find an insecure configuration and and this makes life so much easier when you want to upload uh, uh, like you know malicious file uh, using the uh, 
any any other functional like any functional that the application does offer so uh, i guess this is it uh, for now from the file upload of course we will come back and revisit some of the advanced level examples when we get some uh, you know time and I, I do think there are a few other areas that i would like to focus in as well because uh, file upload is just one thing but in the web application security there are so many tons of other things now i really really rec recommend like you know please leave me a comment to see what you guys are interested in so i can focus my time and effort in there uh, like you know otherwise i'm just gonna continue with the topics that i think would fit the best uh, for the audience uh, but i do appreciate all your likes and comments so please uh, hit the like button if you like my video and i'll see you guys next week thank you